What's up, guys? I'm back, baby. Hi, my name's Colton Chapman. I'm a photographer and videographer from a small town in Massachusetts. Over the past two years, I've worked with some of the biggest artists in the game and traveled to over 20 different countries and shot over 50 concerts. Now I'm about to give you an inside look at my life. Coronavirus 2020 vibes. This place is a fucking ghost town. I'm about to head into Manhattan and show you a live look of how everything's actually appearing. There's a lot of news reports. There's a lot of different articles saying no one's in Times Square, no one's here, no one's there, but I've also heard that people are still outside, so I thought I'd go there and check it out myself and give you guys an inside look of what New York City looks like during coronavirus 2020. Wow. Bank of America. Liquor store is still open. I mean, everything seems to be open except like the shit that's unnecessary. Like this liquor store is open. The shit is closed the fuck down. And shit still. We are open. Chick fil A out here. Hey, we still open, open for business, baby. I know this mask isn't doing shit, but it looks cool. So if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die flat. Wow. Getting in the Times Square. I mean, it seems pretty regular out here. Uh, A few moments later. In Europe, three of the countries hardest hit by the coronavirus have each recorded their highest single-day death count. It's bound to get worse. It will get worse. It will get much worse. It's a growing pressure and with cases rising rapidly, the Canadian government is taking steps to secure the border. Ottawa is barring most foreigners, except Americans, from entering Canada. Yes, it seems like the situation has dramatically changed in Europe over the weekend. You now have two countries in full lockdown. With all the bad things that happen in the world every day, I think it's important to find the good in those bad things. You realize half of the stuff that you thought you cared about, it really doesn't matter. 
What matters most is being happy, spending time with your family, and leaving this world just a little bit better than you found it. But it starts today. It starts right now. There's so much you can do to further life on this planet and to better it. Looking out the window of this train and just looking at all the people and each one of us is so small, but we can have such a strong impact on this world. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, what you do. We all have the capability of changing this world and making it better. And I think if we keep that mindset, we'll be just fine.